following the previous videos. In this video, I'm going to continue explaining the factors that are affecting crude oil price. In this video, uh, I will start with international economy. As we learned previously, crude oil is an international commodity, it's a global commodity, it's being traded everywhere in the world. Every part of the world economy can have impact on the crude oil price. Uh, some countries that are contributing to biggest portion of crude oil consumption, their economy can potentially have big impact on a crude oil price. So when trading starts early in the morning on uh, the exchange in New York, Asian market is already closed and uh, European market is at uh, midday. So uh, the behavior of the market, the signs of how market will behave, they are already known. And probably the most watched nation these days outside of the U.S. is China. China is contributing to around 15% of the world GDP. And uh, uh, China is, after the United States, is the second largest consumer of crude oil. After China, Japan used to be the, the third largest consumer of crude oil. After the Fukushima nuclear disaster, Japan's import of fossil fuel increased. But at the moment, India uh, is in the third place, taking the Japan's place in oil uh, consumption of the world. Also, the European Union and Europe region is consuming around 22% of uh, world crude oil, and this, this data is from 2013. So economic growth in these regions that are large consumers of crude oil can influence the crude oil. If the economy is doing good, if growth rate, economic growth rate is high, it has a, it, it gives a signal that the demand in the future, there will be high demand for crude oil in the future. And if the economy is slowing down, it means that the demand uh, will not be, the expected demand will not be as high as before. The, the increase in demand will be not as high as before and uh, it is going to uh, potentially affect the price of crude oil. The other factor that can potentially influence the crude oil price is is the uh, United States exchange rate. As uh, as you know, uh, crude oil is globally being traded in US dollar. So if the, the fluctuation of the exchange rate US dollar compared to the other currencies can potentially affect the crude oil price. Why? Because there are uh, many uh, uh, traders outside of the United States and they are trading the crude oil which is being traded in US dollar. So if if the dollar value decreases, if dollar US dollar loses its value, it means that those traders living outside of the United States uh, will have higher buying power, so they can buy more crude oil futures contract. It means that there will be higher demand from outside of the United States. It will increase the, the demand of crude oil and can potentially increase the price. So usually there is a strong correlation, negative correlation between United States US dollar uh, value and crude oil price. During the periods of a strong US dollar, foreign traders, investors try to sell their future contracts and when the US uh, dollar loses its value, they, uh, they, they, uh, they tend to buy more contracts. The other factor that can impact the price of oil is geopolitical events, especially in uh, the regions that are big producers of oil. Any conflict or potential conflict can uh, that uh, can impact the prices. Any uh, news that uh, that can give the sense of potential interruption in supply can increase the price. 
please note that that it doesn't need to it, it doesn't necessarily need something to happen that entrapped the supply traders are also humans they are they behave emotionally they can react to the news in an emotional way so if uh, news says uh, some potential conflicts in the region that's producing large producing countries are located it can potentially affect the perception of the uh, supply in the future it can interrupt the, su the, the supply or it could potentially interrupt the supply or can influence the perception of the supply in the future and can uh, have significant uh, impact on the crude oil prices. For example, in mid June 2014, WTI, uh, West Texas Intermediate, crude oil price was about $107 per barrel. And at the end of that year, it went down to around $54 per barrel. We can explain this price behavior into two major factors that influence the price. First, the increased supplies of oil in the United uh, in the United States, coming from mostly mostly coming from unconventional reservoirs, shale and tight sands, because the price of oil was high, and uh, at this price, at around one hundred, it's totally economically feasible to produce oil from costly unconventional uh, reserves. Around this time, Saudi Arabia, that is one of the largest producer uh, and exporter of uh, crude oil, tried to maintain the, the market share by flooding the market with cheap oil. But this strategy caused excess supply and price to drop substantially. Low price of oil can have large impact on oil producing countries that are highly dependent on the revenue from oil. Also, in the United States, companies who are uh, working on the exploration and production section of oil, they will have to cut back on exploration and drilling uh, activities to because they lose their revenue and the, the potentially they can, they can if the price is too low they, they can potentially the small companies they they can go bankrupt the other major player in the oil global market is opec or uh, the organization of uh, petroleum exporting countries opec was formed in 1960 by the first uh, five member including iran iraq kuwait uh, saudi arabia and venezuela and right now at the moment 2017 it has 14 members. OPEC produces around 43% of the world's total crude oil in 2015. And uh, OPEC members control about 73% of world's total proved oil reserves. So every decision that OPEC member, every agreement, or even the meetings that don't come to an agreement can potentially affect the price of crude oil. For example, if OPEC members come to an agreement and they cut back the production, it can cause the supply, the world's total supply to decrease and eventually cause price increase. And if in their meetings, let's say uh, that there's a time and there's a conflict and uh, it's also uh, politics also politics uh, also involved always involved in in the decisions if uh, there is a period that price are going down and they cannot come into an agreement for cutting back the production then it can potentially affect market prices and can potentially cannot stop the price decrease <music>